I'm Tina Gould and I'm a ceramic and public artist and this project is Grounded Ceramics which was supported by Creative Scotland. Um, the idea for the project came about during the, the first part of the lockdown in 2020. I was aware that people were becoming much more connected with their natural environment and noticing what was growing around them and I wanted to capture that sense of engagement and excitement with nature. So we started looking at the things that were growing around us, just very, very simply in the parks, in our gardens, even in cracks in the pavement. So nature always seems to find a way. I think we haven't always noticed the little things around us. It's natural for us to look around when our space is limited and explore our environment and our community. We were also, it was a lot quieter, people were were looking and had time to look um, and also listening more. So lockdown gave us that opportunity to, to be more aware and more aware of our community and, and also our place in the world. Nature and the environment can seem like a very large concept but engaging with grounded ceramics I hope people feel involved and a lot of people were involved and, and excited about the project. My part was to engage with communities and I've had so much support and they've been great um, at providing the material for me to produce the work. I made a series of quite large and quite rustic and kind of natural ceramic tiles rolling out, uh, rolling out the clay from natural clay and into this pressed leaves, the things that people had sent to me and the things that I'd also collected from around. I wanted to have this, this work kind of sense of, of layering and not always having something that's apparent or, or visible at the beginning because it almost relates to the way we, we, we were discovering our world, we were discovering our natural environment. A lot of the tiles that there's this sense of almost seen um, and something beyond what was on the surface. Mostly I used copper oxide because I wanted this very rich green colour. It sinks into the crevices so it highlights a lot of the, the patterns and the textures. But it's never uniform because these are, you know, these are handmade and that, that sense of the hand of the maker working in conjunction with the community even though there wasn't always a direct interaction.